Hi, good evening to everyone. Uh, today we are going to have a small discussion about uh, some important questions of uh, entomology uh, which are usually asked for uh, uh, PG preparation as well as for uh, PhD entrance examination. Uh, here I had, uh, we are going to uh, discuss some questions which are uh, very important, uh, which are repeated and uh, some new uh, questions, new questions means it's uh, some updated questions we are going to see. Uh, first question is uh, the pest of uh, national importance in India is considered as dash. Its answer is white grub. And uh, apart from this, uh, Helicorpa armigera also will be considered as uh, pest of uh, national importance. But first preference is uh, for white grub only. And we are coming to the next question. Biocontrol agent used for uh, management of white fly. It is uh, very specifically for white fly verticillium lacani or uh, lacanicinium lacani. This is very important one. Uh, at the same time, try to um, see the uh, on a common name of this uh, particular biocontrol agent. Sometimes they will ask uh, the co common name. And uh, the next question, uh, scientific name of rugose spiraling white fly is dash. The scientific name of rugose spiraling white fly is uh, uh, Allerodicus, Allerodicus uh, rugio percolatus and it is uh, introduced into uh, India in 2016 and it's a uh, devastating uh, coconut plants still now uh, it's a very big task for the farmers for uh, controlling this one and apart from this it is uh, controlled by uh, specific bio agent called uh, uh, Isaria fumarosia uh, uh, and then uh, apart from that uh, neem also recommended for its uh, control as a spray 5 percentage uh, neem spray uh, neem oil spray and for uh, if you are coming for next question, recently introduced the pest in India. At present in, in, in India, uh, in 2021, uh, the cassava mealybug has been uh, introduced and it uh, devastating the total pro production, the peculiar, peculiar in the South India, uh, in, specifically in Tamil Nadu also. Uh, it caused, uh, the more loss has been caused. Uh, its uh, in, uh, scientific name is uh, Phenococcus manihoti. And while we are coming to fifth question, it's a very basic question, very easy question also. Egg of uh, head louse is called dash. It's called knit. Uh, you try to read uh, so all these uh, specific uh, uh, things related to eggs. One question may be asked. And uh, in the next question, uh, insect evolved during uh, which era? Uh, era means here uh, insects are evolved during uh, uh, Paleozoic era of uh, uh, Cambrian period and uh, you need to be very specific while you need to read the question very correctly in case of uh, arthropodic this question arthropods evolved during which era arthropods evolved during the uh, uh, cambrian period it's uh, one of the very important question uh, and uh, next question the phytophagus insects evolved during uh, das period uh, it's during the carboniferous period and uh, nearly three, 350 million years ago uh, during the co-evaluation of uh, flowering plants and the insects and in case of uh, we are coming to Indian insect type uh, was studied regularly by this is very specific question Indian insect type uh, studied regularly by a particular person called uh, G. Koenig this is also a uh, very important question and uh, don't uh, confuse this question while we are coming to uh, next question some south indian insect this book it's a book it's uh, written by uh, which specific uh, entomologist uh, it's by uh, T.P. Fletcher. He has given the reports about the South Indian insects in that. And it is one of the important question. And uh, the father of uh, biological control. Father of biological control, control uh, very specifically, uh, everyone used to tell Smith. Smith is called the, the father of biological control. And uh, while you are coming to the father of uh, insect pathology. Father of insect pathology, generally, uh, father of insect pathology is Agostino Bessi. But uh, father of modern insect pathology is uh, Stainas. Uh, still, it is a, a, like a controversial question in one and book, one and answers will be given. Based on the options, select the uh, answer, perfect answer. And coming to pupil parasitoids used for control of black headed hairy caterpillar or black headed caterpillar. Uh, this one, uh, there are uh, three specific uh, parasitoids are there. Uh, Brachymeria uh, nefanditis, uh, Tetrasitis, Tetrasitis, Israeli, Trichospilus pupivora. 
these three are there uh, see this all these three uh, i mean uh, parasitoids all these three are important their families also specifically their families and upcoming question insect used for management of retari caterpillar the insect predator it's a uh, important one eucanthicona fursilata this is also it's uh, sometimes uh, uh, many people won't re read this question this is also an important one and uh, coming to upcoming question next question uh, virus which infects rhinoceros beetles dash very specifically called uh, oryctus uh, virus this oryctus virus is a non occluded virus and the disease uh, caused by this virus uh, in the rhinoceros beetle is called malian disease uh, and malian disease it's very important on this also and while we are coming to uh, next one largest cul uh, cultivated bt crop in the world is uh, soybean uh, soybean is uh, cultivated worldwide as well as uh, it's followed by uh, this one uh, uh, maize uh, canola sorry cotton and canola largest producer of uh, pyrethrum in world is dash uh, of course kenya kenya is the largest producer of uh, pyrethrum and uh, there are two questions the first uh, pyrethroid is uh, producer is dash uh, this question and uh, the first photostable uh, pyrethroid this question these two are different don't confuse it first uh, pyrethroid is alithrin producer in uh, 1949 and the uh, first photostable pyrethroid is uh, uh, permethrin it is uh, nearly it's on the year 2000 uh, in sorry 1973 so uh, read this one and uh, don't be confused with uh, both vadala beetle is used to control dash vadala beetle is used to control uh, iceria purchasei uh, vadala beetle you know the scientific name vadala beetle it is uh, rodalia cardinalis and it is uh, introduced by cv relay uh, in uh, year 1888 it's a considered as a first classical biological control from uh, australia to california for the control of H iceria purchasei upcoming question uh, destructive insecticide pest tag dipa paused in which year it is very important on 1914 it is paused in 1914 and the plan quarantine act it is paused in 1912 by us government don't confuse these two questions both are different many people will write uh, wrongly uh sorry for the interruption in my background uh, the sound is very high uh, please adjust uh, because the time is very less you are also having exam by tomorrow so please adjust it and uh, see uh, the upcoming question irac expansion insecticide resistant action committee and it is related with the mode of action based on the mode of action uh, the classification was given by irac it's a very important one try to remember this one sorry this is a wrongly typed question actually the uh, the adult uh, lepidopteran uh, which is a uh, pest basically the larva will be uh, the pest in lepidoptera but in uh, there are uh, few cases very uh, few insect which are uh, the adult is a uh, pest one is uh, fruit sucking moth or fruit piercing moth in uh, citrus uh, see the scientific name and uh, another one is uh, akia janata this everyone know fruit piercing moth but most of the people doesn't know the akia janata so so read the uh up for the next question nearest toxin is produced by nearest toxin is produced by produced by an marine analyte uh, you see the scientific name it's also important and it's commercially available as commercial formulation is, uh, is called as uh, uh, cartap even so cartap hydrochloride and its uh, mode of action is uh, n acetylcholine receptor antagonistic uh, let us go for the next question next question is the modified silk producing gland in uh, silkworm is called uh, dash it is nothing but the labial salivary gland this is very important question and uh, if you are coming to 1 ppm 1 ppm is called dash based on the options you need to select in case of percentage uh, it's a uh, 0.0001 percentage i mean 30 301 percentage like this you see for uh, other things also not only for percentage for moles also you see this is a uh, they, they may ask this question also and uh, the royal jelly in uh, uh, honey bees uh, is produced by uh, das gland it is a very important one it's uh, produced by hypopharyngeal gland hypopharyngeal salivary gland and uh, the queen substance is uh, also produced by it's not also <laughs> queen substance is produced by mandibular gland 
This is also an important question. Don't confuse with royal jelly undergoing substance uh, and its production by different glands. While coming to mite, the mite which causes tremendous loss in the rice all over the world, uh, which specifically infests the panicle of rice, is dash. This is uh, uh, for many people they are not aware about the, this question. This is a stenotarsonymus pinky, and uh, it will cause a very specific symptom called parrot beaks. This is very important. One. So see this question also. If you are not aware about it, just see it once. And in case of uh, specific gravity of honey, uh, it ranges between 1.35 to 1.44 grams per cc. And uh, the ropiness, ropi or ropiness uh, is a disease in honeybee. I mean a symptom in honeybee which will cause the foul smell, uh, will make the colony with the foul smell. He is caused by uh, American foul brood and uh, the Nobel Prize winner for bee communication uh, and uh, like bee dance everything all these things has been uh, won for uh, physiology or medicine by uh, Dr. Kahn von Fritz so he is a very uh, known person in 1972 uh, I think so you just refer for the year also once 1972 or 71 and uh, another one question is the uh, dash and dash percentage of sercin and fibrion produced by silkworm respectively uh, of course uh, in case of sercin 25 percentage and for uh, fibrion it is uh, 75 percentage and interesting thing is fibrion is two layered I mean uh, the two silk gland uh, silk will be coming out of the gland silk gland and in sercin it is a, it's like a gum or paste it will make the silk to stick on and made it into a thread and uh, it's a very important one don't confuse see the options correctly whether the, uh, see the question correctly whether sercin is asked first or fibron is asked first both are proteins so don't confuse it and uh, the sure disease in rice is caused by sure disease in rice is caused by a mealy bug called uh, uh, brevinia rehi it's an important question uh, most of the people know i think so but uh, it's common name that it's in uh, colloquially it is called sure disease so try to remember this question also and apart from that uh, while we are coming to next question uh, which pest in groundnut undergoes hibernation uh, it is a radar caterpillar uh, it is an uh, univalentine pest and this radar caterpillar is one of the major pest of uh, groundnut uh, it can uh, at night time it used to feed uh, voraciously uh, so that's all and uh, some basics uh, try to see some basics like uh, the head orientations uh, uh, like uh, head and mouth part orientations pronathus uh, opisthonus uh, like this and then uh, some uh, parts of uh, this one uh, segment sorry segmentations of uh, insect head uh, the number of classical uh, uh, segment insect segmentation is number is six there are six segments are present and uh, apart from this uh, in case of uh, legs uh, see about the different parts of pre tarsus what are the pre tarsal uh, parts present in it like uh, uh, embolium uh, arolium these things uh, you see and uh, apart from this in wings uh, see the strongest vein strongest vein you know everyone know radius and uh, in homoptera which vein is absent the median of of course the median vein is absent in homoptera and uh, like this uh, some very basic specific things try to cover it and apart from this these things uh, uh, in case of uh, non-insect pest try to once uh, see the non-insect pest uh, like uh, mites uh, their uh, characteristics of the mites and uh, now currently an important pest in, uh, in Indian condition, almost India, we can tell in all specifically vegetable crops, now it's uh, eating uh, even uh, turmeric, uh, these, uh, whatever, whatever the crops are there, it's feeding like voraciously it's feeding, it is uh, snails and slugs, you see, you see about that also and uh, the rodents, so rodents you know, everyone know about rodents and uh, the uh, like uh, how this rodents in the warehouse uh, uh, areas the, their management can be done with uh, what uh, insecticides uh, like uh, zinc phosphide uh, aluminum phosphide then uh, warfarins these types of uh, chemicals and their mode of actions you see these things and uh, these basics so don't uh, avoid doing mistake in the basic questions you will be uh, doing very greatly in uh, very tough questions but very easy questions will be making the mistake don't repeat those things and all the best for your examination do well uh, if you are having any doubts, you can post immediately. Thank you.